Why hello, welcome back. I'm Denny, let's play some more Chrysalis. And eat shit, guard. Um, so we were going to go into the Fortress of Goa, but I have changed my mind. Screw that, we are not going there, we're going treasure hunting instead. More specifically, we are going to the desert. Um, which is where the final areas of the game take place. And maybe if I stop talking, I'll stop getting hit. Um... But yes, the reason why we're going to the Z Desert. Oh god. Um, is because there is some treasure that we can find down here. I guess I could bunny hop on these boots, but, you know, whatever. And the treasure is in here. This is a dungeon that is separate from the dungeon. Um. I was like, what was I saying? This is separate from the final dungeon, which is the pyramid. Well, not. I guess that's not really the final dungeon, but that's basically the area we would go to to get to the final areas of the game. Um, but this particular dungeon contains two treasures that we want. That is one of them. That allows us to walk on um, swamps without getting hurt. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because we actually, I believe, need to get to, I think, either level 14 or 15 before we go into the next area. And this gives us an excuse to level up some more while we search this area for Treasure. I guess this level only has flying things, which honestly I don't mind. The biggest thing that annoyed me about flying things in every other level that they're in, I guess these are kind of annoying because they take a billion fucking hits to kill. But it's because they interrupt you fighting other things. What's the chances of missing with that? Alright. One thing I've noticed about shooting those things is that, um,. They do remain for the rest of the game. Let's go down here first before we cross that, and down here before we cross that. We'll cross the first one. See, I've played the Game Boy Color version. I believe uh, that the plot, the changes to the plot line, the music, and the fact that the resolution is lower, so more enemies can more easily attack you off screen. Like, they raised the re resolution, but didn't... I mean, they lowered the resolution, but didn't lower the play area. Um, but one of the things that people complain about is that... Um, you don't have... Every... There's no such thing as an enemy immune to a certain sword. Um, enemies are resistant to swords, so they'll take less damage, but... There's no immunity to, to different swords, and a lot of players I've seen um, state that the gameplay is less varied because of that. And you've heard me bitch about me switching swords and everything, and honestly, um, I would disagree with the, the, the statement that the gameplay is less varied because of that. I mean, there's really nothing variant in the gameplay from switching to a sword that you've already used, using to kill something. I mean, the, each of the four generals has a specific element that they're weak against, and that's kind of cool um, in a storyline-wise, but in reality, um, 
it just simply doesn't really add much to the gameplay. To be just constantly going to the menu and switching swords as you go through a dungeon. Just by just to memorize what they are. I mean if you could use the select button or something to switch swords without going to the menu, then I might agree with you. Might being a key word. Um so I am actually kinda concentrating, that's why I'm pausing a lot, I'd be talking much faster if I wasn't doing it all, all through a dungeon. But, you basically get my point. Um, I can understand switching swords to solve puzzles like that one. I don't really mind so much. It just doesn't really add too much to the game. That said, all of the other flaws, and I think that's a big thing, is that is that people saw all the other flaws and that change was amongst them so a lot of people just associated it with a d different flaw like if I said that like you know Hitler go had good hygiene oh good hygiene must be evil uh, no not really I know lots of good people who have good hygiene Anyway, enough with the intellectual discussion, back to raging and flying shit. I hate flying shit. I was going to say that I don't that I don't mind the flying shit in this dungeon, but you know I do, kind of. They're kind of being annoying. They give a good experience though, so I can't bitch about that. Ah god! <laughs> Um, why am I crossing here? I know that there's not that I can't. Oh wait, I missed that. I missed that completely. <laughs> you blizzard sword, you fucker. All right. I'm guessing I have to cross there. Nah. 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 I'm running out of magic points. Thankfully, the treasure that we get in this dungeon, the next treasure, um, is actually amazing. So does this go... That probably went to the leather boots, didn't it? That was probably the other way, wasn't it? Well. Ha! <laughs> did you see that dodge? How do those clouds even hit you? I think they're supposed to call... Do you have to, like, be in the middle of them or something? Is it just missing me because I'm been getting hit by the edge of the clouds? Okay, I think that's the yeah, that's the entrance to the dungeon. <clears throat> I think that's the treasure that we want. We just have to find a way to get there. Mailing those things is no good. Okay, I'm going to de-equip refresh so I don't accidentally use it. Because I basically just have just enough to get me back. Okay. 
don't cross there. Go around here. I think we found it. Nope, we didn't, but we did find a fruit of power. So we'll just go ahead and use that now. I mean, we have enough gold right now to buy, like, I think an inventory full of them anyway. So now we can heal a little bit more. Ugh. All right. I don't remember if we... Oh, this is that little area that we came from. Okay, let's try going right. and everything they represent. Everything they represent in love. <laughs> Pretty long way to go for a dead end. walking around with not two power levels recharged up. Oh god! That was close. come at you. Like nothing you can do, really. Unless you have, like, fucking fast like a freak reflexes. Yeah, I saw your clouds. this way. Alright. I'd be mostly fine with these things that they didn't just fly at you out of nowhere. And sometimes they go super fast. You notice that? Sometimes you can't outrun them. die over the waters, you can't get their monies. They drop. Ha! I think I've pretty much explored this entire place. Yet. Ooh. Actually. Um, no, that's the way out. Been down here. So. Whoa. Whoa. I love it when two of them come at you. 
from out of nowhere. Maybe it's there, but I honestly... Hmm... So this is the way to the boots, which we already found, but just to double check, make sure, just a sanity check, you know. Let's refill life a little bit. That was close. Alright. Do you equip refresh? I have... Two... Twenty... That was an even experience. I'm just going to carefully go forward. Alright, I'm going to confirm. Okay, that's the way we're supposed to go. That's a dead end. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, that wasn't the way we're supposed to go. I'm gonna check that one, and then I'm gonna go back to town and sleep. In the inn. After all, exploring here is pretty good for the whole experience. Alright, so there is multiple ways. And that's like, I think, the long dead end. Um, I'm gonna go back to the inn. Better not take any risks. Two good hits and I'm dead, so... take me too long to get back there. Now I can just walk in here all the day, even though it's like, you know, waist deep. Okay. Iron necklace. I'm pretty sure there's area in this that we have not covered yet. Such a crapshoot if it's going to hit them twice or once. an area we have not touched yet. We go around the inside. We can go there, but we're going to cross over here first. Because that un unexplored area is basically marked as an unexplored area. We don't want to... I don't want to build a bridge until I'm prepared to cross it. In case I get sidetracked and lost or something, I can, you know, come back. That is basically my breadcrumb. Alright. Let's cross.
I know you're trying to circle behind me. Goddamn bug. Those things drop piddly money, too. I'm not even gonna go for the money they drop. Alright. Breadcrumb again. Extravagant dead end. I'm convinced at this point those clouds do nothing. Alright, crossed over here. that wall and there we go this is amazing this doubles your attack power yep it doesn't increase our armor by like whatever that rating was um, but doubles your attack power it literally makes it so bosses will die in half the hits as normal that see look at that BAM two hits I'm just gonna wander around here until I am. You know what? I'll go back to Goa, actually. And. Recover some health. Now we'll go outside and farm guards until we are level 14. Look how many hits they take, ladies and gentlemen. Let's gather some uh, some of them around. <laughs> yeah. Eat. Oh, I missed that last one. I'll admit, though, it's not as good as the ring that we're going to get after this. Alright, one more. I'm just gonna stab him in the face. Eh, why not? Grind on these to get a good head start before I go into the next dungeon. I'll at least grind until my magic points run out. How's that? I mean, it's actually kind of fun to just gather these things up. You can take out the flyers in one hit. Hi, Mr. Guard. Dragonian guard genocide here. Let's see how many we can get on the screen before it starts to really lag. Five. Oh, why not? What the hell was hitting me? Ha!
Damn. Wish he had a sort of thunder in real life. out of magic. So I'll clear enemies until my health starts getting low. And then I'll go and sleep. Actually, I'll probably go sleep a couple times. So I'll probably go to... Actually, let's go to Swan. I believe they sell Fruits of Power. At least they better. Or I'll sort of lightning in their face. Whoops. That's right, I'm top of the world now. Can't mess with me. I have the Sword of Thunder. And I have the Power Ring. Dragonio, watch out. Time for me to rule the world. Alright. I probably went overdid it on Fruits of Power, um, just because now I won't be able to carry stuff that I get from the Fortress of Goa. Haha, <laughs> flying thing. Got collateral damaged. I wasn't even aiming for it, just died. <laughs> I like killing things in one or two hits. Power Ring is the best thing ever. Now, what the hell are those? Th are they disintegrating into? Like, is it electrified chunks that these things are disintegrating into? Is there like indescript flaming things that are like? The Sword of Fire makes them incinerate into, like, little fiery scraps. The Sword of Wind... I don't remember what the Sword of Wind does. Ah! Well, the Sword of Wind does weak things, is what it does. I know the Sword of Ice makes them, f like, fall into ice chunks. Like the, the classic, well, the censored Sub-Zero Fatality. Alright, next is the Fortress of Goa. Thank you for watching, and take care.